Hi everyone, this is Oil Quip here again with our part two series of hydraulic schematic and symbols. Uh, this series is going to be on check valves. Uh, the whole purpose of a check valve is to allow flow in one direction, but to block flow in the other direction. Uh, if you have a physical check valve in your hand, you'll see one of these two symbols on it, and if you don't, you'll at least have an arrow indicating the free flow direction of a check valve. A uh, check valve basically consists of a seat, a ball, and a spring. Uh, sometimes it is shown without a spring, and sometimes it is shown with a spring. Either way, the symbol means the same thing. Uh, how a check valve works is pressure comes into your check valve, it pushes the ball off of its seat, moves around that ball, and into your system where flow coming backwards through your system will push this ball back on its seat, blocking the flow from moving back past the check valve. Uh, this is a more specific and less commonly used symbol. Uh, this is a shuttle valve, specifically a double shuttle valve. Its whole point is um, to connect the two higher working ports um, to a common port or a signal port. Uh, it's also a lot of times shown with a single shuttle, uh, but it does the same thing. It connects these two working ports to a single common port. The only difference between these is the double shuttle will trap the higher signal into the working port, even if the pressures are bled off onto your working port. Whereas the single shuttle if you bleed both of these pressures, um, you, you can have a decay of this pressure signal in your signal port. This is a pilot operated check valve or a PO check. This is specifically a pilot to open check valve, uh, meaning it operates the same way. Pressure comes in, moves around the ball into your system, um, and also, this system, if the flow comes in the opposite direction, will close this ball back on a seat, blocking the flow. However, pilot pressure can be sent in this pilot line and pilot this check valve open, allowing that block flow to now move through in the reverse direction. Uh, this is a what we call a cross-ported pilot to open check valve. Uh, meaning pressure, if the pressure port is on this side, you move through this check valve and you also pilot this check valve open. Um, and then same thing, if this side is pressurized, you're moving free flow through this check valve, but you're piloting this check valve to be open. I'll back out a little bit to show you the full example here. If we have directional valve controlling the extend and retract of a cylinder. We operate this solenoid. We're now moving P to A and B to T. Our P goes into our A port. We're free flowing through this check valve into the cap end of the cylinder. The, the cylinder does not extend, however, because we can't get the fluid out of the rod end to escape. It's blocked by this check valve. So that's why we have a cross piloted line here that opens this check valve allowing that flow to now escape into our B line and our B is now traveling to T because we've energized this solenoid. And in the same way when we want to retract the cylinder we activate this solenoid. We're now in the P to B, A to T direction. So our pressure is P to B. Free flow through this check valve. We're filling this cavity, retracting our cylinder to allow this oil and the cap into the cylinder to escape. The same pressure line that moved through this check valve is now piloting this check valve open and we are now traveling and the A line is connected to our T line because we've activated this solenoid. This is another pilot operated check valve but this is a pilot to close check valve meaning the pilot pressure here closes and forces this ball back on its seat. Um, 
applications of check valves, a common application in low pressure systems um, would be a relief valve. Uh, your free flow out of your pump will travel into your system when you reach a certain pressure, uh, whatever pressure setting that you have made this check valve uh, will now travel this way back to tank. Uh, it's a way to um, relieve a pump without um, generating a lot of heat because relief valves uh, tend to generate heat. Uh, another s example or another application of a check valve would be to protect a pump. Your pump will produce flow into your system, but in order to keep that flow from moving backwards and potentially moving your pump backwards, you put a check valve in just right after it, uh, and it, this, this helps protect your pump. Um, you see this a lot when circuits use accumulators. A uh, pump will fill an accumulator, and when the accumulator is needed in the system, it, um, the flow travels in this line. We'll say the system's out here somewhere, and in order to keep the accumulator from just flowing backwards through your pump, you uh, use this check valve. Uh, so that's pump protection. Another application would be an accumulator dump valve. If your pump's down here and you pressure, you turn it on, you pressurize your system, you move free flow through this check valve while you're also piloting this valve closed. And your system can be either in this direction or this direction. And your accumulator is also used in your system. So you can fill your accumulator, or if your accumulator is needed, it can go and do what it needs to in the system. Uh, it never runs backwards to your pump because it's blocked here, and it doesn't move this way because you've piloted this valve closed. This check valve is piloted to close. However, using this accumulator dump valve is nice uh, because when you do finally turn your pump off and your system is shut down, this gives it away your accumulator away to automatically bleed. You no longer see pressure here opening up this check or piloting, piloting this check valve closed. So your system then drains through this check valve and into your tank port. Uh, probably the most used um, application for a check valve is for bypass reasons. Uh, this bypass check valve will bypass this filter if this filter gets too clogged, creating too high of a pressure differential. So that way it, it, it protects this filter, pressure comes through here. If this is too clogged, we move around, open this check valve up, and we still flow into our system. Uh, and then same thing with this flow control. We move pressure in here. We'll free flow through this check valve into our system, bypassing this uh, needle valve. But uh, if we want to still meter a flow in the other direction, our flow coming through here is, is blocked by the check valve in this way, So, but it can travel through the needle valve in that direction. So this can be used in both meter in and meter out applications.